heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend Hello and welcome to 3ABN Family Worship. We are so glad you are joining us as we gather some of the 3ABN family around the table to minister to the rest of you who are our family. And we're yeah. so yeah. thankful. We want to just tell you from the bottom of our hearts that we thank you for your love, your prayers, and your financial support. This Family worship is all about welcoming in the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Tonight we will be talking about the mind of Christ, mm -hmm. renewed, mm -hmm. recreated, hallelujah. Yeah. So, J.D., why don't you well, introduce mm -hmm. the family at the table? Well, these are some of our best friends. Of course, we have Molly down here at the end. Mm -hmm. Molly, we have Jill next to her. Mm -hmm. Next to me, we have Chris, mm -hmm. and we have Kenny. Mm -hmm. And of course, my darling wife, Shelly. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking up the tail end of this. <laughs> and, no, you're at the head. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Anyway, we're just, this is, this is a gift to be here with you this Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is indeed. Yes. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. Well, as I said, what we're going to talk about tonight is how to have a the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible tells us we have that. Yeah. And what I would like to do is let's just talk about what is an affirmation? When, when we talk about praying God's Word back to Him, speaking God's Word back to Him. Molly, you've had a lot of experience in that. How has that changed your life? Well, God's Word is a powerful source. Mm. It is a living force. And um, the, God's Word doesn't return void. That's right. And um, I am what the Word says I am, Amen. and my mind needs to hear that, and my heart needs to know Amen. that. So if I speak God's Word over my life, and I, something I did early on with my son was I taught him God's Word, and he would speak the Word over himself, and I would mm. pray, pray God's Word over him because it's that power that's in the Word that's going to change us into the image and likeness of our Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. Go ahead. I think um, affirmation, speaking the Word of God, praying the Word of God back to Him has been life transforming um, in my own life, in my prayer walk, my time with God. Yeah. One of my favorite scriptures, Romans 4, 17, God who gives life to the dead. Mm -hmm. And we're all dead in trespasses and mm -hmm. sin, or we all were dead uh -huh. in trespasses and sin. And calls those things which do not exist as though they already did. And so what we can do when we do those affirmations, when we claim the Word of God, when we speak the Word of God allowed over our lives, even if I may not feel like a new creation Amen. or I may not Amen. feel forgiven, God's Word says I am and so Amen. it's true. And the, in the speaking, Amen. there's life and death in the power of the tongue and in the speaking of it, there's yes. power in that. Hey, can I get Jill to share something? Surely. When you were landing, I believe it was when you were landing either in New York or in St. Louis, your ear was hurting. T tell us what you did and what the end result <laughs> of that was. Um, we were just actually coming back from Russia and um, we had caught in a bug over there. And you know, when you fly with head congestion, yes. it can be painful because the ear doesn't pop. And so we had landed in France and I did pretty good. It popped twice. And so I was like, oh, I'm okay. Normally your ears pop, what, 15, 20 times as you descend. Oh. So then we landed in New York and it popped once and it hurt, but it was okay. But when we landed in St. Louis, we're coming down and I could not get it to pop even once. Mm -hmm. And so the pressure builds yes. and builds and builds and then the pain started. Mm. And I just, I was just sitting there and just, it was, it was, painful. Mm -hmm. And so just the left side. And so what I did is I laid my head back in the chair and I just started reciting scripture. Mm -hmm. And the scripture I recited was Isaiah 26, 3. Yes. Thou wilt keep him in perfect Very peace brief. whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Yes. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. And I was the fourth time through. Mm -hmm. Now I was not asking God to help me. 
I was not asking for any deliverance. I was just quoting scripture. God, I want to keep my mind on you. God, give me peace right now in this, in this situation. I felt a hand. Mm. I have never Amen. in my whole life felt that. I felt a hand over Amen. the left ear Good and Lord. instantly the pain was gone. Praise Amen. Amen. Now Amen. The, the pressure Amen. was there and my ear didn't pop till the next day, but instantly the pain Amen. was Glory gone. Amen. And he, that's the word. And I yes. wasn't even Amen. asking God, please take that. Just God, keep my mind on you. God, give me your peace and yes. instantly. Amen. That's Amen. Powerful. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Amen. It is powerful. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, I would like to read to you an affirmation that will go along with tonight's study. Mm -hmm. We have uh, six scriptures that we would like to feature tonight. And I hope you have your Bible and a pen. And I know we'll end up adding more scriptures to that. But from these six scriptures, this is an affirmation. And as Jill said, God calls things that are not as though they already were. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as we're praying, the word back to him, that's the same thing we're doing, calling things that are not as though they already were. But it renews your mind, it reprograms your mind. Yeah. As a man thinks in his heart, so, so is, is he. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. as you said, we're not who we think we are, we're not who others say we are, mm -hmm. we are who the word of God oh, well, says we right. are. Mm -hmm. So, he watches over his word to perform it, so as we return it to him, it does not return void. Amen. So here's the affirmation. My mind is renewed. My attitudes are made new and radically changed through the power of His Word. Mm -hmm. His Word sanctifies me, separating me from the world's viewpoint. I am set apart morally, ethically, and attitudinally from the world system. My conduct and my thoughts are governed, governed by God's administrative system of His holy kingdom as recorded in His Word. Mm -hmm. I am recreated mm -hmm. in the image of God. Amen. I have been given the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I take every thought captive and make it obedient to the will of Christ my Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, every bit of this is backed up in Scripture. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And it is powerful when you start proclaiming this over your life. I remember once a lady called and she was asking me about how to do affirmations. And so I was taking her through a few. And when we got to the Scripture of 1 Corinthians 2, 16, that says we have the mind of Christ, I said, so I just want you to say, thank you, Lord, that I have mm -hmm. the mind of Christ. And she said, mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, that I have Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. And I said, but that's what the that's Bible what says. That's right. Amen. And so we've got to speak God's mm. word into our life. And you know what? Faith comes by hearing, hearing. and hearing by the word, word, of, word God. of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing more faith building Amen. than to hear it in your own voice. Amen. So Jill, why don't you talk to us mm -hmm. about Romans chapter 12 and verse 2? Um, I love Romans 12. I think it's one of my favorite scriptures mm -hmm. in the whole, um, the, the whole book of Romans for sure. Yes. Um, I love Romans 12. And you think about the whole book of Romans, um, Paul's really laying out this theological, theological treatise on justification by faith. And we hit Romans 12 and it kind of takes a shift to that practical standpoint, the practical outworking. And I know I have verse two, but I want to read one and two. Surely, that's okay? Because I think one really goes with verse two. Yeah. We're in Romans 12, verse 1. Open up your Bibles and follow along. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. holy, acceptable to God, which mm -hmm. is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And service literally means in the Greek, worship, which is our act of worship, would be coming before him, making ourselves that living sacrifice. To me, in this, we're talking about transformation, the mind of Christ, um, possessing that, the mind of Christ, there are two key elements. One is in verse one and one is in verse two. In verse one, I see self-surrender. 
Mm. And mm -hmm. surrender precedes, precedes, surrender comes before this us becoming a living sacrifice. Because you can't be a living sacrifice unless we surrender mm -hmm. our lives completely to the Lord Jesus. Amen. And then in verse 2, what I see is this inward <laughs> renewing of the mind, Amen. which precedes or comes before the outward transformation Amen. of character and habits and thoughts and, and really who we are as people. So let's read verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. In the Greek, the word transformed is metamorphosed, mm -hmm. meaning that's mm -hmm. where we get our word mm -hmm. in English for uh, the metamorphosis prof mm -hmm. process, and I've shared this before. I'll share it just briefly. Surely. Um, Greg loves to watch nature, and mm -hmm. one morning he said, Jilly, come look at the front porch, and underneath the railing was a caterpillar, mm -hmm. and it was forming its cocoon, its chrysalis. And then every day we went out and peeked and peeked again mm -hmm. and peeked again, and then on Sabbath wow. it broke out, mm -hmm. and the butterfly emerged. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's an example of this renewing mm -hmm. of the mind, the metamorphosis process. We start in the caterpillar stage. We're all crawling in the dirt. Mm. We're all sinners. And then God, by the power of His Spirit, changes us Amen. with that metamorphosis mm -hmm. process That's true. so completely mm -hmm. that we don't look anything no, like right. who we Amen. used to be. Right. And we are transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing mm -hmm. of our mm -hmm. mind. Amen. The, as it were, the renovating. In the Greek, it also can mean renovating. And if you think if you're renovating your house, mm. it's many times when people renovate, they go all the way back to the studs, right? Yes. Complete right. overhaul of the home mm -hmm. to make it new. It's the same principle. God wants to completely change yes. from Amen. the inside mm. out. And that transforming process, when you look at someone, you say, Pastor Kenny, you act different than you used to, or you react Ooh. different, yeah. or whatever. That is a result of an internal transformation yeah. that's yeah. happened because of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Amen. And Amen. that exactly. change, that renewing of your mind mm -hmm. has changed that. And then now it exhibits itself in an outside behavior. Amen. Amen. You know, when you think yes. about, I, I did a study on this because I did a sermon on it once. But when you think about the caterpillar, mm -hmm. the caterpillar moves a little bit slowly. But guess what the whole purpose of the caterpillar is? He's on that leaf and all he does in the caterpillar stage is eat. eat. <laughs> he just yeah, just eating yes. constantly. And so when I think of this metamorphosis and this process that you're talking about, it's as to me, it's like the more we're in the Word yeah. of God, the more that this, it's kind of like the Word is what does the chrysalis around mm. us and then we blossom out. Amen. And it is oh. all about the Word, isn't mm -hmm. it? Absolutely. He says that taste and see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? The word yeah. is good. Yeah. Taste and see. So do a little nibbling there. It said, there right? Keep go. going in the Word. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Beautiful. Well, my verse is John 17, 17. Mm -hmm. And I just want to kind of give a, a short synopsis of what was happening at this <laughs> time. Um, Christ was preparing his disciples because he realized that his hour had yeah. come. And the whole chapter of John 17, he's praying and he's asking God, you know, for the ones that God had given him to take care of them, to sanctify them. He says, I've shown them who you are. I've given them your word. Word. And um, he's wanting the Father to sanctify those who have remained mm -hmm. faithful to him. So what does sanctify mean? It means to make holy mm -hmm. and to make him into the image of him. And, you know, as I was looking and thinking about this, of course, I <laughs> my mind went in a lot of different what. Uh, Channels. channels, yeah, Direction. channels as it were. Directions, thank yes. you. I need a direction right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, back in the beginning where the first war began in, in heaven, the enemy was accusing God of being unjust yeah. and, and that we no longer really needed to keep the law. We could be holy, we could be righteous without the law, without the Word of God as it were. You know, so there's been an attack on God's character. And so he, when he was cast to this earth, really he he felt that this was his realm. He yes. was the father, he was the, the uh, overseer of this earth. And Jesus had come to take that back mm -hmm. and to show us the true character 
of his yeah. our Heavenly Father mm -hmm. because through that time where Satan was the ruler, where he reigned and the Word of God was distorted and the people's thought about who God was, was not always a loving God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it was a very uh, destructive mm -hmm. God, you know, uh, one that was always out to discipline mm -hmm. you as a child of God. The verse 17, 17 reads, sanctify them through thy truth, mm -hmm. thy word is mm -hmm. truth. You see, the enemy's a liar and there's no truth in him. Mm -hmm. And so that very subtly he had been maligning God's character and Christ came to show us the Father's Amen. character. He says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Amen. And so he, and he was very concerned and you think about, well, why was he so concerned? What's so important about truth? Mm. You see, as you begin to study God's word, we find out that it's truth that sets us free. Mm. But it's free from what? Mm -hmm. As you read in that verse, you find it's free from sin yeah. because sin separates us from heaven. Sin se separates us from our heavenly father from ever reaching the, the pearly gates for eternity. Yeah. And so truth is vitally important. And we're living in a time just as the disciples did where there was going to be seducing spirits wow. come in and attack mm -hmm. the children of God. And uh, it's interesting the parallel that you see with the disciples and the new Christians at that time. And you think about the time that we're living in right now. Well. And it, it very much parallels this time because again, Christ is saying, sanctify yourselves through the truth. Mm -hmm. You must know the truth. Mm -hmm. You need to be grounded on that firm foundation mm -hmm. because if you're not, you're gonna be shaken yeah. loose. Mm -hmm. You know, we're to be as straight as steel because every wind of doctrine is beginning to blow. Yeah, and um, we were sharing, I think with you last week, about how a lady had just come into the church and while we were gone for a month, she started going and visiting elsewhere and all of a sudden she felt like she had received mm. the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Well, do you, I asked her a question, do you know what you're saying? Yeah. No, but I know it's wonderful, I know it's mm. praising. You know, and, and I began to show her that God is a spirit mm -hmm. and the Bible says we're to worship Him in spirit yeah. and, and in truth. truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you need, if that is the true spirit of God, then where she's going, where she's attending, they would be preaching the truth, right? Well, and so if you hmm. have one without the other, you can almost be sure that there, that is a seducing spirit. Mm -hmm. And we've been warned as Jesus was warning his disciple that there will be enemies coming in, seducing spirits to tear them away. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is told us today. Mm -hmm. And it's, as the spirit of God is being re press from this earth, we see that the enemy is growing stronger and stronger Mercy. and that more seducing spirit. There are mm. miracles that are actually taking place and it's taking place in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so people are confused and the only way- But you're saying these are false miracles. Exactly. Yes. The only way false. you can tell mm -hmm. the, the true from the error mm -hmm. is by the word Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. Sanctify it. them, make them holy through thy oh. truth. So we've got to get to our Bibles, whether it's electronic Bible, whatever Bible you're studying, and we've got to eat the Word. We've got mm -hmm. to devour the Word. And we need to come to the point that no matter what befalls around us, that we can stand as Christ stood. Yes. When the, the enemy, he didn't come to him as a devil. Mm -hmm. He came to him as an angel of light. Yes. You know, and here Christ, 40 days and 40 nights, you know he was in a weakened state. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet he had the clarity of mind to say, mm -hmm. it is Amen. written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was going back to the truth, mm -hmm. back to the word. Mm -hmm. So everything, every spirit, as it were, every doctrine needs to clear that testing truth. It needs to go 100% with the Word of God or Amen. it's not of mm -hmm. Him, mm -hmm. you know. So what we're saying then to be sanctified, it's, it's synonymous with being made holy. That means just to be set apart from Amen. sin. Amen. So when it says, don't be conformed to the world, be transformed by the renewing yes. of your mind, you're saying then that the Word of God 
is the one of the best avenues to mm -hmm. renew our oh, mind. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I, yeah. I'm gonna throw this back to Sister Molly for it because I remember her saying not long ago, you know, I used to think I knew everything. Well I think all of us all of us <laughs> at one point we kinda <laughs> thought we knew we were kind of had arrived. But you know the the more uh, we develop a relationship with mm -hmm. Christ and the more we begin to learn, the more we realize we really didn't know very right. much at all. And it is the truth that begins to come in and it does a surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times yeah. as someone coming into the church, we, mm. we have others that once in a while they'll take the Bible and they'll beat someone over the head with it. No That's mercy. not the way to do it. Mm. The hospital is a place for sinners to come and you present the truth to them and allow the Holy Spirit to come mm -hmm. in and to do that Amen. heart work, to recreate Christ's image within us. I've got a, a little um, quote here from Acts of the Apostles. It's page 475. It says, the knowledge of God is revealed in Christ is the knowledge that all who are saved must have. Mm -hmm. Must have. He is mm. our example. Yes. And I love it because you can find Christ in every book of the Bible. Amen. Mm. This is the knowledge that works a transformation of character. Mm -hmm. You see, our characters, we're as filthy rags. Mm -hmm. You know, what would heaven be like if, if God filled it up with filthy rags, mm -hmm. as it were? He's recreating His image within Amen. us because He wants us Amen. to live with Him. Amen. He wants us to be a part of that eternal realm in heaven. Mm -hmm. Received into life, it will recreate the soul in the image of Christ. That's what we need. We need a doctor. We need a physician because what we have adopted many times in our life as true and right is really not. Mm -hmm. We've been deceived, mm -hmm. but we can only find out what that deception is through the Word of God. And I praise mm -hmm. God. He is so merciful. Yes. He yes. is so yes. patient. Amen. And Amen. He, he works with us. He loves mm -hmm. us as little babes. In fact, He says we need to be little mm -hmm. babes yes. mm -hmm. so that we can have the faith that we should Absolutely. and trust Him as He's working this mm -hmm. recreation in our minds and in our hearts. You said something that reminded me that I think one of the greatest, the thing that I'm most appreciative of everything my mother ever taught me was she said, don't believe something is true mm -hmm. just because you hear a pastor oh, behind mm. a pulpit say it. That's, That's right. She said, you get into the Word and find out for yeah. yourself. Well, when I finally took that advice, I found out that most of what I'd been taught in mm. my church growing up was error. Uh, and I had accepted it. Mm, so mm, it is mm. important. And that's one thing that I so appreciate about mm. the pastors on 3ABN mm -hmm. is I think that mm. almost everyone who teaches on 3ABN, I can't think of an exception, teaches with a lot of scripture and, and will challenge and say, look it up, make sure, because mm. it is the, the truth is, is mm -hmm. what God's word is. And that's mm -hmm. what sets us apart. Yeah, a man said, uh, Sister Shelley, a man said one time he called in, he said, uh, wasn't Seventh-day Adventist, but he said, what I really appreciate and almost I'm astounded is that it's, it's everybody knows everybody there, right? Because all the preachers, everybody that's on there, they're all real good friends, everybody. And I said, no, there's some that probably never met. Never met. And he said, yeah, but everybody seems to say the <laughs> same thing. And that is oh, so yeah. different and where I was raised and, and, and even the same church name on the door, mm -hmm. you can go to different ones and they're teaching something different. He said, but 3ABN, I watch it and almost everybody's saying the very same thing and yet they haven't met some of them. I said, exactly right, because they've been to the Word. That's right. Yes, amen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amen. I'd like to say just one mm -hmm. more thing too. We're coming into a time in this world's history where there will be tremendous miracles and so much that fire sure. will come down from heaven. There are people signs now Signs and that, wonders. Yes, yes, signs and wonders in so much that the enemy himself mm -hmm. will impersonate an, an angel of light again, mm -hmm. impersonate Christ himself. And so we're getting to a time where we cannot believe what we see often or what we hear. Yeah. We can only go back to it That's right. is written. Amen. I, I, sh I just have to confess, I saw Forrest Gump many years ago and there's a character, Gary Sinise plays this character and he was without legs and he's pulling himself along or scooting across the boat and I looked at J.D. and I said, 
Mm. I didn't know he didn't have any legs. Mm -hmm. Well, come to find out, mm -hmm. he did. Mm -hmm. But they had just altered it digitally. Yeah. And it was so convincing. And I thought, I'll never believe anything I see again <laughs> <laughs> in a film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that. Don't don't write me about that because that yeah. was a long time ago. Right. <laughs> okay, I have <laughs> Ephesians mm. four twenty two through twenty four. I'm going to read this first from the Amplified, and I love the way it says: mm. "Strip yourselves of your former nature, put off and discard your old unrenewed self, mm -hmm. which character." characterized your previous manner of life mm -hmm. and becomes corrupt through lust and desires that spring from delusion. Be constantly renewed in mm -hmm. the spirit of your mind, having a fresh mental and spiritual attitude and put on the new nature, the yes. regenerate self created in God's image. Godlike in true righteousness and holiness. Yeah. Well, let's let's kind of unpack that. Thing. Mm -hmm. That's saying a lot, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know justification takes how long? Mm -hmm. A moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. When we are justified, yeah. means we are. God forgives us the penalty, and and He cancels the penalty mm -hmm. of sin. He forgives yeah. our sins. But there's two kinds of sanctification. There is positional sanctification which mm -hmm. this is a holiness, uh, the being set apart from sin. When we are in Christ, we are positionally in sanctification because 1 Corinthians 1.30 says that Jesus is our wisdom from God. He is our righteousness, yeah. our sanctification, sanctification, and our redemption. Mm -hmm. But the second kind of sanctification is practical. So you have positional, when you're in Christ, you're set apart from sin, but then there is this practical sanctification. This is uh, through our daily quest to obey and to be purified that we are freed from our former way of life. Mm -hmm. So he says, put off the old oh, self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting, in the King James Version, it says put off the uh, Old man. Conversation is how it mm. says it, I think. Mm. And that word has undergone a dramatic change since King James Day. So in the Greek, it's anastrophe, which means your manner of life. So he's saying, put away your old manner of life. Mm -hmm. When we were born again, when mm -hmm. we accepted Christ as our Savior and the Holy Spirit came into us, we were born again, we're born of the Word, we're born of the Spirit. and we are new creations in Christ. Mm. Second Corinthians 5, Amen. 17. Mm -hmm. We're new creations right. in Christ. But, you know, it, the, the Word says, all things have become new. The old is gone, the new has come. Mm. Positionally, that's true. Practically, sometimes the old can rear its ugly little oh. head, can't it? So, what he's telling us here, even though we are saved by grace through faith, there's mm -hmm. nothing you can do to save yourself. But we still are supposed to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we've got to put off this old disposition that's not compatible with the Savior. This is a deliberate action. Mm -hmm. It's a determined action, a choice that we yes. make. Because we're born mm -hmm. with this fallen nature, since we are Adam's descendants, mm -hmm. we have a bent toward mm -hmm. selfishness Absolutely. and mm -hmm. sinfulness, don't we? And as you said, that old unregenerate nature Mercy. of sin separates us from God. Mm -hmm. So since the old man was a slave to sin, headed for judgment, what we've got to do is say, okay, no more of you. I, I'm mm -hmm. making up my mind. I loved what he said here. I'm going to read it now out of the mm. King James. He says, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, mm. Mm -hmm. the desires and, and the things that we are, the lusts that we have, why are they deceitful? The lust of the flesh, flesh. because they promise one thing and deliver another. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh -huh. Don't they? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's so it's the yeah. deceits. Yeah. And then he says, uh, let me see, where am I? So 
th this corrupted nature, we need to turn away and leave those old attitudes, those <laughs> old habits, the old actions mm -hmm. that we had before being born again. Mm. This is the old me that was crucified when I, when Paul said, I've been crucified mm -hmm. with Christ. This is the old I that was, was crucified. Mm -hmm. So we're taking off, he says, put off the old self. This is a sin-stained mm -hmm. garment. Mm. Just think of it as a disgusting, revolting Mercy. garment. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you're just saying, yeah. okay, wow. this old nasty garment, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting ready to throw you out in the trash. Yes. Thank not you, taking you to the Salvation right. Army. I'm not taking <laughs> you right. anywhere. I'm throwing you <laughs> away. away. All right. So the old way of life that we had before we came into Christ is completely in the past. Mm -hmm. It should be. Mm. But then he says, be made new in the attitude oh. of our mind. Mm -hmm. And as both you and Chris have said, and, and for those who are listening, I shouldn't just say you, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jill, as you and Chris mm -hmm. have said, it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's by the power of God's Word Amen. that we're renewed in our mind. James 1.21 says, the Word, when it's implanted in your heart, mm -hmm. has the power to save your souls. Mm -hmm. It is so powerful. Yes. And Proverbs 23.7 says that as a man believes in his heart, mm -hmm. so, so is he. he. So we want to come before the Lord, accept what mm -hmm. he says about us in his, in his word, and be renewed. When he says mm -hmm. be renewed, in the Greek, this is a present tense. Mm -hmm. So it's Good. a continual progressive action. In other words, you're constantly yes. being renewed mm -hmm. in the spirit of your mm -hmm. mind. That's the attitude yeah. and the disposition mm -hmm. which determines our behavior and conduct. Okay. But then he says, put on mm -hmm. the new nature, the mm -hmm. new life that we receive in Christ. Mm -hmm. We are the product of the new birth is a new nature. Is That's it That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's Amen. what the product is. Mm -hmm. And we're recreated. God is not only our creator, but he's the one who recreates us Amen. in the family likeness of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So what we're supposed to do then is to clothe ourselves with this new nature. Mm -hmm. it, there's a maturation process where we become, 2 Corinthians 3.18, become what we behold yes. Yes. as we look into this mirror, this word, and we become like Jesus. We're unselfish. You know, Jesus was not rude. Jesus didn't have to apologize. Mm -hmm. Jesus was loving and unselfish. Mm -hmm. So this is what, when the Holy Spirit is indwelling us, this is that new nature that we're putting on. And then he says, uh, which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, when we're interacting among each other, our righteousness shows that we treat people in that righteous way. The holiness, I think, too, is more, I mean, purely this conduct, our, our attitude toward God. So it's, it, they blend mm -hmm. together. I don't know that I said that right. Mm -hmm. So basically, it is a daily yes. conscious commitment that we are making. Mm -hmm. And it is daily, is it not? Yes, oh, it absolutely. is. Absolutely, moment by moment. And, and so it's just, we're going to follow a new direction <laughs> and enjoy a new way of Amen. thinking mm -hmm. as led by the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Yes. So Amen. really if what I'm hearing is right, when well, I'm hearing it right here, really if our, we come to the Lord and we really realize how stinky our life, <laughs> past life has been. You talking about how dirty and filthy and something that Pulse. ragged and rotten and you can't, if we really believe that, we, we really will not want to go back mm -hmm. and pick it up. But so often, you know, man said, well, I'm not going that way, but he goes back again. It's like, to me, repenting from sin. When you really repent from sin, you repent in such a way that the Lord, that you, you never want to go back again. That's you right. never want to participate. When you're really sorry what you've done, mm -hmm. that you're determined by the grace of God that you never go that way again. Mm -hmm. To me, that's true repentance. Mm -hmm. Not just say, I repent, I'm sorry for my sin, and go right back and you back in again. But truly recognize what it does to others and yourself and to God and our relationship then we're truly sorry, we don't go back. And the old man, like I say, we don't put on because he's stinky. It, it, 
Go ahead. It reminds me of Romans 13, 14, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because yes. you're talking about putting on yeah. the new man. Yeah. And then it continues, and make no provision for the flesh Amen. to fulfill the lust thereof. Mm -hmm. So when we put on Christ, we don't keep that old stuff around right. to tempt us and to pull us back mm -hmm. into the old way of life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Molly, you were looking up a scripture. I think you want to say something, don't you? Uh, well, I no, I was just looking up Proverbs 23, oh. 7, as a man thinks, thinks in, in his heart. heart. Mm -hmm. So yes. mm -hmm. that, um, that always uh, speaks loudly to me. And you know, you were um, saying that we have to change. Mm -hmm. Repentance is a change. Mm -hmm. You know what confession is? Acknowledging, yeah, I did mm -hmm. it. Yes. You can confess all day mm -hmm. long and still be in yes. your sin, acknowledging that you did it. That's yes, right. even to God, God, mm -hmm. I did it. But until you repent, right. there, there is no forgiveness. That's right, so. good, mm -hmm. good point. That's and that kind of leads us into my scripture. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say something first? No, go ahead. And that's Ephesians 2.10. I'm going to read Ephesians 2.10 mm -hmm. in the Amplified, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to read 4 to 10 because then this is one of the greatest promises to me That's in right. the mm -hmm. Bible. That's right. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit. Ephesians 2.10 in the Amplified, for we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, mm -hmm. that we may do those good works which God predestined or planned beforehand for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unpack this, then we'll go and read 4 to 10. Mm -hmm. For we are God's own handiwork. In other words, we are His spiritual recreation. Amen. Fantastic word, spiritual recreation. Mm. Amen. His workmanship, recreated, born anew, born anew. Mm -hmm. If we change our mind, our affections, our purposes, then we are given the privilege, the duty, the responsibility mm -hmm. of proper witnessing. Mm -hmm. And as a Christian, that is what He really created us to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to share the good word. Mm -hmm. But the old J.D. Quinn, well, being a filthy rag, mm -hmm. only thing that I knew to present was that which was dirty. Yeah. Well. And so somehow or the other, we had to get him out of the way. Mm -hmm. Once you become sick and tired of being sick and tired, there you go. Then, Come on. then say, Jesus, please help me. Do yes. the aid of the Holy Spirit impress upon me. What am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. And then there's that great word, spiritual recreation. Mm -hmm. Spiritual that takes God out. I mean, that takes the enemy out of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now we're turning to Jesus. Amen. Let me just read this. I mean, yes. I think that we've all read this, and I just love it. This mm -hmm. is Ephesians 2, 10 is what I just read. Mm -hmm. Let's go through uh, 4, 10, setting it all up. But because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in sin, mm -hmm. transgressions. It is by grace that you have been saved. Mm -hmm. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages that He might show the incomparable riches of His grace expressed in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Verse 8, please listen, mm. for it is by grace mm. that you have been saved through faith, mm. and this is not of yourself. That's right. It is the gift of God, Amen. Amen. not by works, so that one can boast. Then we go into verse 10, for we are God's handiwork, mm. His yes. workmanship, spiritually recreated, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's, that's, that's powerful. Man. This is about recreation. Mm -hmm. If I can just share, if you got your pencil, now's a good time to write these down. I'm going to give you just quickly four scriptures. Mm -hmm. The first one's in the Old Testament, because normally we think of rebirth, we think of New Testament. 
This is Old mm -hmm. Testament, Ezekiel 36, 26. Amen. Mm -hmm. I will give you a new heart. Thank you. Put a new spirit in you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Second mm -hmm. Corinthians 5, 17. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. he's a new creation. Praise the old Lord. is gone, the new has come. Mm -hmm. Titus 3, 5. Mm -hmm. He saved us not because of the righteous things mm -hmm. that we have that that we had done, but because of His mercy, Amen. His Amen. grace. Mm -hmm. He saved us through the washing of rebirth That's right. and the renewal by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And then this one caught my attention because this is talking about senior citizens. <laughs> well, well, now Psalms ninety-two fourteen. Mm -hmm. They will still bear fruit. Mm -hmm. in old age, Amen. Ooh, and hallelujah. they will stay fresh and green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you want to further that, you can go on to Psalms 103.5, because this is what I want. Mm -hmm. Who satisfies your desires mm -hmm. with good things yeah, so that yeah. your youth is renewed like the eagles. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So if you're young, <laughs> Allow the Holy Spirit to yes. work in you. That's right. Amen. If you're middle-aged, allow the Holy Spirit to work in Amen. you. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be blessed and get three score and ten, mm -hmm. call on the Holy Spirit to renew you. Amen. If you're even more blessed and you're 80, <laughs> 90, mm -hmm. talked to somebody the other day that wanted me to pray for their, for their daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, be happy to. Mm -hmm. And she said something that kind of threw up a red flag. Well, how old is your daughter? Mm -hmm. Well, she's 82. <laughs> well, now. well, you don't have That's to be a great. genius <laughs> to say 82 plus 20. Well, wow, wow, sister. Wow. I want your eating habits. Absolutely. There you go. Uh -huh. there you but go. anyway, the Holy Spirit is there to recreate us, spiritually yeah. recreate us to be more like him so that we can do what we were called to do, and that is to freshly go out and be a witness for him. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's good. It's good. I love it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I do too. So basically what we've said thus far is we don't want to be conformed. We want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. This happens through the Word of God that sets us apart from sin. We do, ha even though we're saved by grace, we play a part in this. Mm. We need to put off the old. Yes. And, yes. and I was, something yes. you said, I just wanted to say before I forget, because I will. Even though we do put off the old, I have seen very sincere people who in a moment of weakness have turned back to their old mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just wanted to read, because if Amen. you're sitting at home and you think, mm. and I've been down this route mm -hmm. before. God mm -hmm. saved me. He, I did turn away from the old. I don't know how I turned back. Don't, please don't feel guilty. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't, don't feel under condemnation. God will give you a godly sorrow, but don't yeah. feel under condemnation. Here's a, a precious promise from Micah chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 8. It says, Do not rejoice over me, my enemy, when I yeah. fall, I oh. will arise. That's right. mm -hmm. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he pleads my cause mm. and executes justice for, for me. Mm -hmm. He will bring me forth to the light. Hallelujah. So even if you've done something that you did turn your back on mm. the Lord for a while. You mm. turned back Come to on, an now. old habit. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were delivered from drugs That's and right. somehow you find yourself doing it again. Yes. Mm -hmm. You were delivered from alcohol and suddenly you start drinking again. Mm -hmm. As J.D. always says, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Amen. And God will pick you up Amen. and dust Amen. you off. Amen. He is your Father, your Abba. He's anxious Amen. for you to come to Him as your Absolutely. child. Amen. So He wants Amen. to renew us. Uh, we are His handiwork, His work of art. Mm -hmm. And now, Kenny, you've got the culminating one, I think, for the mind of Christ. <laughs> Just what we've been, all been talking about here, the mind of Christ, you know, that's, and that's uh, found in Second or First Corinthians 2.16. Simply reads, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? Question mark. 
but we have the mind of Christ. Mm. I thought how positive. Mm. When you read scripture right there, Paul, he's a mm. positive man, you know, because he knows in whom he has believed. Yes. We have the mind of Christ. Amen. I thought how exciting that is that we can have that mind. And, and I think it's in uh, uh, Philippians 2, 5, you know, let this mind be in you, which someone mentioned a while ago, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes. So that gives me a hint right then and there that Paul's talking about we, we can have the mind of Christ. Yes. And it has to be Christ's mind, not our mind that's been talked about here, that the old fleshly man is going to have to go. So I got to thinking about that when we was talking about doing this lesson. I thought, you know, what is really a good illustration? What is one in Scripture that everybody knows and has, has read about how because we talk, we, we understand we need, we must have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. But a lot of time we forget how is maybe this accomplished and we talk about it and come at, at, from different angles. And uh, the best illustration that I could find, at least in my mind that, that helped me was uh, John chapter 15, which is yes. the vine and the branches. Amen. That's good. So I jotted down several things I want us just to quickly to look at because first of all, Jesus said this. Remember he said, I am what? The vine. Yeah, I'm the true vine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of false ones out there, but he said, I'm the true vines, first of all. So this vine then would represent, as we look at it and the branches, the relationship that Christ has with us, and certainly at that time with the Jews and the Gentiles and what was going on in his own life. And so we, we see, and as we look at these points that I'm going to bring out here, see how it fits with the life of, of Christ and what was done to him when he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. But notice, the Jews regarded this vine as something that was powerful. Mm -hmm. They regarded something that was, that was beautiful, they, something that was fruitful. So they were looking at the vine to begin with and said, mm, this, is, this, no, this is good, it looks good, and it's, it's, it's fruitful, and this is something we need to take a closer look at. In Israel in the Bible had been presented as the vine which God planted. Mm -hmm. So we're beginning to look at it and we're seeing, to me, Jesus is coming into the picture here. We're looking and seeing that he's, he, he has to come into the picture here. And so as we look at it, it says, many were attracted to this vine, as it were, because of its loveliness. You were mentioning the, maybe the sweetness of attitude and the way we talk to one another and the way Jesus talked. And I think he mentioned he never had to apologize. <laughs> you know, that's not been my life. You know, many times I, I need to, maybe times I haven't. But in our life, sometimes we say things the wrong way. Maybe we don't mean to it. It comes out the wrong way. We still need to apologize for that. And we've said and done things. But notice in here, but, he, but the leaders of Israel said, notice this. No, this is not beautiful like you think it is. This is a root out of dry ground. Mm. And so we don't like this root. We don't like the plant that's going to come up here. So we need to stamp it out. We need to stomp it. We need to kill it, is the word. We need to get rid of this thing. And we think about the life of Christ when he, when he mm. came here naturally. So the thought was, let's kill it. Let's get rid of it. And, uh, and so they, they, they set about to, to do that. Now notice this, the plant then was replanted where? It was outside the walls. He was crucified where? Outside the walls, right? He came to his own, his own receiving, not outside. So he was planted outside the wall, but notice that the branches went back. Ooh, glory. I'm going to say mm. hallelujah. The branches went back over the mm. wall, mm. Mm -hmm. right? So that those who wanted to accept it may they accept could. it as individuals, yes. even though as a nation, we know the probation closed for them. Mm -hmm. mm. But those branches went back over there and he could feed the ones who wanted to be fed. Mm. I thought that was so... Right Beautiful. Now. The vine stock. Notice the vine stock now was no longer visible mm. because they cast it out. They wanted to get rid of it. They killed him. Yeah, that's but yet, yet there was opportunity to still come to him. Thought how wonderful that is. And so, notice as it hung over the wall, this vine represent people would come and people would accept that. Now, there, there's mm -hmm. as we're leading into this, we're we're going to see is how. We talk about let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Well, how does that really mm. take place in our life? So now, as people came to that, the branches were coming over, whatever you look at, there was some grafting went on. Mm. Mm -hmm. As we are grafted into the, certainly the family of God, grass could, could go in there. So that show the connection between us and Christ, that we need that connection. You know, desperately we need that connection. Then I jotted down something I thought was interesting. It says, we are grafted into the living vine, and notice how. Desire of Asia said, fiber by fiber, 
mm. and vein by vein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. every part of that, that vine, and then you are the branches. That's right. Branches are exactly like mm -hmm. the vine. We know that fiber by fiber, vein by vein. Now, the life of the vein now becomes the life Ooh. of the branch. Yes. Amen. Now, uh -huh. now we have the, how, how do we have the mind of Christ? Right Notice there. this. So who mentioned a while ago one said, those of us, we were dead in sin, trespasses and yes. sin. Now we receive what? His life yes. through our connection with Christ. Desire mm -hmm. of Ages 675 says this, by faith in Him as a personal Savior. Amen. I, I, maybe in my childishness or whatever, I see it that way. I, I see that uh, uh, personal Savior. I see someone who's interested in somebody like me. Amen. I'm astounded by that. Mm -hmm. I'm overwhelmed by that. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I, I'm thankful to God that mm -hmm. he, he sees something in me that I, I don't see. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sees something in you that maybe you don't Amen. see in yourself. Mm -hmm. he's, he sees, as I've often said, he sees the finished product. Yes, he does. I've often told that mm -hmm. uh, quickly there. My mother always did the, uh, the what was it? The, the, the pillow slip thing. Oh, you know, where you, kind you of a neat crochet, embroidery, right? embroidery, mm -hmm. embroidery, you know, and boy, and she could do some beautiful ones. She got done on that. It was such a pretty picture on there. You look at that, mm -hmm. all hand sewn on there. Mm -hmm. And so one day she said, Kenny, look at this. You know, look, she peeled it back. And on the underneath side, it was yeah. a horrible mess of spaghetti almost. Yeah. Yes. It was spread every which direction, thread overlapping. Mm -hmm. I right. couldn't figure out a that's thing. Good. And I said, that's God is looking up mm -hmm. as good. it were, he, yes. or, or, or as we look up. Yep. And what do we see? I see a mess that can't be straightened out. Mm. Yep. But God's looking from the top down and He Amen. sees a finished product. Ooh, and yeah. 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 And I said, ooh, ooh, hallelujah, yeah. praise the Lord. Yeah. He can straighten out this spaghetti yeah. mess, really good. Mm -hmm. you know, and Amen. make us right with Him. Notice how it reads on. By faith in Him as a personal Savior, the union is formed. The sinner writes his, notice this, unites his weakness to Christ's strength. His emptiness, notice his emptiness to Christ's fullness, now, his frailty to Christ's enduring might. Now, notice the article says there, Desire of Age 675. Then he has the mind of Christ. Mm. This is where all leads up to. Then he has the what? Amen. When we unite with him in everything, Absolutely. when we're weak, we become strong, right? When this mm -hmm. doesn't work, it's, it's all about him. Mm -hmm. Then we have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. What do we have? The humanity of Christ has touched our humanity. Mm -hmm. Our humanity has reached around and touched divinity mm -hmm. so that we can become like Him. I think how beautiful that is in just a couple of seconds here. Notice it says this union once formed. Think about it. Somebody say, well, I accepted Him, my Lord and the Savior, and that's all I've ever done. Once this union is formed, once we're grafted in, we must remain grafted Amen. in. We have to maintain that together, that life source, that power from Jesus Christ. If we don't, we're cut off, right? We're, it, yeah. We die. So we, we need to maintain that. Colossians 2, 6 says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk, walk ye in Him. Amen. So really, just receiving Christ as our Lord and our Savior says, as we've done that, all of our weaknesses become strengths. And then now we have the mind of Christ. Oh, God help us to have that mind. Absolutely. Mind. So that beautiful, wow. vital union with the vine, with Jesus, mm -hmm. gives us yes. the mind of Christ. Come on now. And That's when right. we have the mind of Christ, yes. what do we need to do to protect it, my lady? Yeah. <laughs> Second Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. Mm -hmm. For though we walk in the flesh, I'm going to start with verse 3, mm -hmm. we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, uh -huh. see, we're in war, yes. and we have weapons, are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling mm -hmm. down of strongholds. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what a stronghold is. It's a sin or a sinful attitude that is fortified or strengthened until we can't overcome it. Mm -hmm. It's a besetting sin you can't get rid of. Another word for stronghold is fortress, fortified area in your life where Satan has built a wall around the sin wow. and it has us in a strong grip. Mercy. It's a stronghold. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to verse 5. Casting down mm -hmm. arguments and Amen. every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every what? Mm -hmm. Every thought. 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 So we're talking me. about mm -hmm. the mind of Christ mm -hmm. into captivity to the Amen. obedience of Christ. When people come to the Lord, their fight with the Lord is over. Mm -hmm. well, but their well. fight with the devil is not over. Right. <laughs> the battle now rages, and what is the anim is the enemy battling for? It's our mind. mind. Right. He's yes. battling our for mind. our mind. Mm -hmm. 
where would a stronghold be set up? And I want to go over this quickly. It's in our minds. Mm -hmm. Our actions are a result of what we think. Mm -hmm. If we think wrong, our actions are wrong. Yeah. If we believe error, and we touched on this a little earlier, and error is anything that is opposed to the Word of God, mm -hmm. then our actions will reflect Mm -hmm. what we believe. Our actions reflect what we believe. Mercy. And we're to have the mind of Christ. Now, yeah. I want to give you an example of what a stronghold is. Um, there's a scripture, and it's in 2 Corinthians 5, 8. We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Here's what a stronghold is. Mm -hmm. And here's a stronghold that I lived with for some time. See, to be absent from the body is to be Mm -hmm. present with the Lord, because the Word says so right here. So somebody come and try to tell me that that's, that I haven't properly interpreted this, that this is error. Well, You're not going to change me, honey. I'm standing on the Word of God, a stronghold. Now, if you study mm -hmm. it out, what you find is I had believed error. Now, I'm just going to quickly say, mm -hmm. what is the one thing that will overcome error? Truth. And you truth. shall no. know, the, know truth, the truth, and the truth you shall, shall set, you set you free. So the weapons of our warfare, go to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and read all of those weapons. Amen. We don't have time to go over them now, but let me just narrow it down to the two most powerful weapons that you've got in your arsenal, and that's the Word of God, that's right. and that's prayer. Yes. And so uh, if you have uh, strongholds in your mind, ask God by the power of His Spirit, to show them to search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, know my thoughts. thoughts. See if there be an evil way in me. Mm -hmm. And God, by the power of His Spirit, will set you free of those mm -hmm. strongholds. Shelley. Oh, Praise you know what? Lord. It just Hallelujah. occurred to me that, well, first of all, JD reminded me we forgot to pray to begin with, mm -hmm. but we could have talked on this for hours. Oh, so oh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it is such a beautiful thing to know we have been given the mind of Christ. Amen. Here's the mind of Christ right here. Mm -hmm. Is it not? Right. Yes. I mean, this is, is this is where His mind is revealed to us. And I believe the mind of Christ is when we are humble, like He was totally dependent upon His Father yeah. when He was on the earth. And that same spirit of humility needs to be in us Amen. where we will be totally dependent wow. upon the Father. Absolutely. I cannot believe our time has <laughs> flown. So I'm going to ask Jill mm. if you will have our closing prayer. We have just a few seconds. We'll probably go out praying. Our prayer right. for you is that the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with you always. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we thank you that we have the mind Amen. of Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you that we do not have to be conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but you, by the power of your Spirit, by the power of your Word, have transformed our minds Amen. by the renewing of our minds. Mm -hmm. Thank you that you enable us to prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We thank you for your truth for the sanctifying power Amen. of your word. Yes. We thank you that you can cause us to put to death the old man of sin yes. and that we can live anew in Christ Jesus. Amen. We thank you that we are your handiwork Amen. and for the weapons that you have given us to counteract the enemy. Amen. We ask this in the precious and holy thank name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. The Lord.